Martial art, we're not going to spend. A, I mean, you know, eventually when we work on tool development, I'm going to tell you how to palm right, how to develop power, how to have your whole body weight behind the palm, everything mm -hmm. that you do, in order to be able to induce a knockout with everything that you do. Mm -hmm. I know that I can palm fucking hard, I can elbow fucking hard, I can headbutt fucking hard, I can knee fucking hard because I understand the body mechanics. Yeah? You don't need to be big to be able to knock somebody out, you need to understand the body mechanics. You need to be able to launch your body weight at great speed in the direction where you want to strike, okay? Boom! You see what I did? Boom! See, I'm attaching the target so that now I can continue, yeah, with something else. Palm attach, palm attach. If you can launch your 75 kilos with great speed in the direction where you want to punch, you're going to hurt. You're going to knock somebody out. I need you to advance towards him in a, in a short and aggressive manner yeah. so that you judge the distance as well. Now if you advance in an aggressive manner and now I wait until it's here, it's too late. Now I'm jammed. I have to strike when he's here and I have to use my footwork as well to have that power. And then straight away I attack. Yeah? So that mimics that, that, or that, that. Or that, that, the ear, or that, the bed, or that, and the, the t-shirt. Now, if he's still combative, and one shot wasn't enough to dissuade him, and now he's still coming towards you, you will feel that energy, and you will be able to continue, and even with your eyes closed, you would know where he is to continue to strike. Now, if it's hard enough to do the job, he's going to give you that type of energy, like you knocked him out. Now, at least you're going to be able to assist his fall, so that he doesn't bang his head on the floor. You prevented him from banging his hand on the floor, you put him in a recovery position, you had the presence of mind to do that. Which means that you're not a bad guy after all. In front of a judge, that looks good. Now we're doing tool development, so that's now so that we can actually work a bit more on the body mechanics and on the basics. Okay? So when you do that, yeah, instead of going like, uh, really that's big shots, what you did, you were telegraphing at first, you did this and this. This is telegraphing, yeah, yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah? What you want to do is from there, being able to strike from there, you see? And I snap back, yeah? So I'm there, boom, and I snap back, boom, and I snap back, you see? So I snap no back. No telegraphing. Yeah, no telegraphing. And snap it back. Go on. Do you know what's a broken, broken beat? Half, half, half beat. beat, yeah. On yeah. Jeet Kune Do principle, yeah? yeah? yeah. Half yeah. beat. A two beat is bam, bam. A half beat is ba bam, ba bam, yeah. ba bam. That's what I want to see. I want to hear ba bam, and I want to see you strike attach, strike attach, strike attach. Always think worst case scenario. Imagine that you're fighting the fucking Terminator, okay? That's what combatants were designed for. Like that, listen, mate. What, what, why don't you, what, don't you just talk about it, man? No, seriously, man. What, what do you mean, what? This guy, boom, and then strike. See, for example, mm -hmm. I was being congruent there. He didn't know that I was about to strike, he didn't know that I was ready to cover up because I was uh, trained to be congruent with my fence. Okay? That's situational, that's part of situational control. So when you come when he comes towards you, your hands have to come up not like mm, you no, know, because that's victim. That's victim. Do stay away from me. You know, that's you don't want that. It's a body language saying that. Maybe your facial expression doesn't have that. Yeah. But your body language says that. So what you want to do as he comes towards me is what well, can I help you eh? and now he's coming again boom now I'm here I can talk from here and he looks much more relaxed and congruent as soon as my elbows are not touching my hand it looks a bit more I'm Excellent. trying to control the situation yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah but if my elbows are against my body first of all my sides are protected from any body shot yeah and I look relaxed here you see I really look relaxed now listen man. okay you want to talk yeah no problem let's talk man but from here, I can strike from here, I can elbow from here, I can headbutt, elbow, like from here I can do everything. When he comes towards you, I need you to make a step forward, don't make a step back. What this is saying, even if, even if you try not to look afraid, what does that say? Your body language says, I'm moving back. Yeah? Combatives were designed for soldiers, soldiers never move back, we move forward. We don't move back, we never move back, we only move forward. When things start to be hard and you start seeing this special expression on the, on, the, on the face of people, they tell you, change, change your physiology right now. Warrior, you need to look like a predator. <laughs> Victim, predator. 
you know? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Reverse the role, change your mindset, have your mindset, become a predator. So, so don't move back, step forward. A little step, just a tiny little step. Have you seen that even though you made a step forward, you kind of, you can't, you had that. Because too close to me. Yeah, but, 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 but you let him get too close. That's, yeah. that's why your fence needs to be, look, you see for example, when he comes towards me, I'm making a little step and I'm here. See, I'm not, because oh. yeah? how am I going to strike from here? Now if he push, push me, push me. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah. No, that. I want to be like, he comes towards me, like, yeah, now listen, stay where you are, come again, boom, now I'm here. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. I'm combative, my mindset is combative, I'm moving forward, I'm being predatory. A predator will, will smell that straight away and as soon as he sees any sign of victimization, he'll be like, I'm getting paid. Stay back. Good. And can I ask, can I add something? You see that yeah. the movement looks much better than it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now your tone of voice. Yeah. Instead of going, stay back. Stay back. You see, if I'm talking like this, and if I'm talking like this, there is a difference in tone of voice, uh -huh. in tonality. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah this yeah. is thirty-eight percent of communication. Seven percent of communication are spoken words. Thirty-eight percent of communication are tonality. Pace, hesitation, volume of the voice, of voice auditory cues, and 55% is body language. Okay, not going to go through all body language, purple dilation, sweating, redness, paleness, tens tenseness. Okay, but you have to look confident, so that was good, like the movement was good, but your voice was not quite there. So I need you to learn how to use your voice. Okay, go on. Stay back. That's much better. Much, much better. Nicely. Much better. Much better. Your, your body language was more predatory. You stepped forward. You didn't move an house back. You told him to stay back. You had your fence up. As you felt that he was pressure, pressuring your fence, you went for it. That's good. Now that you're more congruent, I can hear that the palm gets stronger. I yeah, can hear yeah. a bigger noise on the palm. Do you know why? Because I helped you build your physiology. Okay? I don't know if you know, there is uh, one guy that I really like a lot, I like to listen to him a lot, his name is Anthony Robbins, okay, he's, uh, he's a millionaire, he's a, he's a motivational speaker, he's a, he's a uh, success coach, life coach, motivational speaker that speaks for right. all the yeah, celebrities yeah. and he's really, really smart, he knows everything about psychology and uh, human behavior and all that stuff and he's a guy who can create, if, if you have a problem you go and see him and he'll solve it, he's not like a, like a like a psychotherapist or anything like that, he will train your nervous system to change your physiology. And as soon as you change your physiology, everything changes. And that's why I can, I can hear your palm is getting stronger because I added the little things that you were missing. At first, you were, uh, so in your mind, even if it wasn't conscious, you were in victim mode. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, as soon yeah. as I told you, stand your ground, facial expression, more mm, like that, but more like, not too aggressive because he's coming towards you. You might not have to engage him, okay? But for now, that's the, the type of drill that we're, you, that we're doing. Well, you're gonna have to engage him with a palm strike. So what did I tell you? Stand your ground, make a little step forward instead of making a little step backward, which is predatory instead of victim. Predatory look instead of victim mode, yeah? And the voice, stay back, victim, stay back. Predatory. Yeah. And I give you all these little elements and what did I hear? Your palm was getting stronger. That's good. I want to see that again. <coughs> Stay back. Good. Very good. It's getting better. Stay back. Stay back. Good, nice. That's good. Better part. So when you tell him to stay back, I need you to put a bit of pressure against him because there you were just standing. Which is, you know, basically you told him to stay back and he did stay back, yeah? So you'd have no, in reality, if he stays back, you have no need to palm, okay? So when he tells you to stay back, I need you to kind of start, like you're gonna move forward, and as you see that he's about to move forward, that's when you, that's when you palm, okay? You're here, yeah? When yeah. you say stay back, you see your hand is here, and I need you from here to go straight. So no uh, kind of turning, people kind of, do all type of weird angles. Yeah. Yeah. What you want to do? Don't worry. What you want to do is from here, bring your bring your paddle. Don't worry. 
go there. From there, what I need you to do is turn your hip, turn your hip, turn your hip, straight. And back exactly the same way. So you see? Straight and exactly the same way. Okay. So it's a real cross rail. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's exactly, like, it's like exactly the same. Like a, but, but you see the cross is a bit different. You've kind of got to raise your elbow a bit yeah. because you've got to connect with the knuckles yeah, properly. Yeah, yeah. In boxing, yeah? yeah, or in or in karate, when you do a whole stance and you throw them punches, you kind of it's more of a karate type of punch, but it's higher and it starts from here. And I'm here, and you see, I kind of obviously I twist that to be able to have this. But you see, it's straight. Imagine you have a tube going through here, mm -hmm. and you have you can't get out of that tube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you get that? Yeah. Go. On. Stay back. Good, good. So now snap it back yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. 